and go, go get a risk school, needs better. And go, go get a money gone up like blood pressure. This trip long in the planning. He's even brought along five barrels filled with clothes from the set of a now closed TV production to distribute to charities here. Like before I got on the plane and I was super excited. Then I became anxious, you know, because you just don't know what to expect. Jamaican born screen actor returning home for the first time since he was taken to the UK as a small boy following his father's sudden death. Now 24, Michael Ward has appeared in two seasons of the British television crime drama Top Boy. It's just mad that we're here again, isn't it? Top Boy is that, you know, is very authentic, it's very real. It's, it's addressing stuff that does happen in real life. He was also in one of the five films comprising Small Acts by Oscar award-winning director Steve McQueen, chronicling the lives of West Indian immigrants in London over three decades. In a story like Lovers Rock, you know, and get to vibe to the music and learn also a lot about um, the music of the 80s and stuff like that. I feel that was a, a, a very, very special time. Can beg your dance? If you want. It just kind of just shows how life was back then, but also how it hasn't changed. It's still stuff that people do now. You know, you go to a party, you know, you're just trying to have some fun. You know, you meet a girl. You just never know what the night can bring is what essentially that story is about. But Ward getting his big break and national attention, playing the role of drug dealer Jamie in Top Boy. You see what's happening here, innit, Cornell? I could kill you right now, you know that. The series was scrapped by Britain's Channel 4, but got a lifeline when superstar rapper Drake, a fan of the show, came on board as an executive producer in 2017. And a new season premiered on Netflix. So you played Jamie in Top Boy, youngster caught up in gang violence and drug dealing because he has to take care of his brothers, but also because he likes being the Top Boy. Jamie is drawn to badness, isn't he? You know what? I don't feel like he's drawn to badness. I feel like he does what he needs to do for the sake of his brothers. Obviously, if you watch the, the show, you find out both of his parents died and he's had to step up. It's funny that you said that, you know, he enjoys being the top boy because that's something that I have always kept as my kind of character thing. You know what I mean? I've never admitted it to anyone, but it's funny that you said that because it is that as well. Like, you know, you enjoy the lifestyle. You That's what a lot of, you know, the youth that get caught up in this stuff, they do enjoy the lifestyle to the point where they can't get out. A lot of people make a lot of money, you know, doing what they do, and they can change their life around, but they just love what the lifestyle brings and stuff like that, so then they get caught up in it. But I feel like with Jamie, um, you know, with the, the, not the pressure, but the responsibility of looking after his brothers, he just has to step up, and that's why he does what he does. <laughs> You've seen the first season, Jamie ends up in jail. You know what I'm trying to say? Sully starts off in jail. You see people dying. I don't ever think that's glorifying, um, you know, um, what's going on on the road. It's actually showing you the effects of that. Even after many years in the UK, Ward's mom and three sisters still very much Jamaican. There are similarities with the Top Boy cast in how everyone talks and the music they listen to. But Michael's real life choices a far cry from Jamie's. It's family, it's like I told you as well, you know, the tune um, Mana Aiga, Pop Khan. It's like once you start idling, you get caught up in bad things, you know. If I was always playing football, I was always trying to do extracurricular stuff. You know, I'm trying to say drama after school and stuff like that because that's just what I enjoyed. I didn't enjoy really chilling with the man them on the ends like that. Obviously, yeah, here and there, but not all the time. Because I've always been just different, you know what I'm trying to say? I remember when I first wanted to start modeling and I told my friends, they laughed because they didn't believe it was something that I could do. But I'm just like, yo, like, it's not even about if I can or cannot do it. I enjoy taking pictures, you know what I'm trying to say to you? Like, even with acting, it's not about raw. Like, at the beginning, it wasn't about raw. Like, could I be great at this? It's like, I love acting. So I'm gonna do that, you get what I'm trying to say? I don't feel like it makes you a target. Once you're passionate about something that you do and your friends see that, you know, at the end of the day, they start supporting you and, um, you know, family starts supporting you and then at the end, and then eventually everyone starts supporting you and then you just start going, pressing on and knocking down barriers for everyone else to come through. Lots of rejections for Ward on his way to getting screen roles. Give me your best popcorn, babe. Best popcorn, <laughs> Wife Wifey that. <laughs> 
That's him right now, man. Literally. Popcorn's in our idol, the alarm that got him up in the morning when sometimes he didn't feel like facing the day. You might wake up in the morning and you're not, and you're not, you, you don't feel motivated to carry on. You get what I'm trying to say to you, especially with my industry where there's a lot of no's. You get what I'm trying to say. A lot of people think that when they see my success and stuff like that, that you know it happened very quick because. I'm young and I'm doing all of this stuff. It's like, no, like there's a lot of no's and there's still a lot more no's. It's not because I'm in this position now that you know I'm getting loads of opportunity um, that is just gifted to me. It's not like that, you know what I'm trying to say? You still have to work, you still have to become better and better. And he is Michael, the winner of a British Academy Film Award for an emerging talent. It gave me encouragement to know that I'm doing the right thing, you know, not just for me, but for my people, you get what I'm trying to say? Being able to step into leading roles, by the way, is not something easy, it's, it's very difficult. You, not that you have a lot of pressure, but you, you know, you need to deliver, you need to be real, you need to be convincing, you want to tell stories in the right way. Um, and the moment people start to disconnect from that is the moment they don't start to believe. Receiving that accolade just been a big encouragement to just know that, raw, like, I can do this, and I will do this, and maybe one day I might be a star instead of a rising star. What you know is things have changed. I'm not dealing with a man them no more. So your dad's death took you to the UK from Spanish Town. Ever think about the turn your life might have taken had you remained here? Yeah, I think about that a lot, actually. I realise it now that I had a lot more opportunity than a lot of people here. You know, it's just more seeking opportunities. Like, Because even in, in England, bro, you like to think that a lot of people, you know, take those opportunities, they don't. Um, so I just kind of feel like, you know, if you've got the opportunity to do stuff, you might as well use it because there's a lot of people that don't get that opportunity. And I always think, you know, that I could have been the person that was left behind. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Not that that necessarily would have been a bad thing, but, um, if I was, maybe my life wouldn't have turned out the way it is. So you're in Jamaica now, what do you have to get accomplished? I feel like if there was one thing that I had to do before I left, it would be to go see my dad's grave. Um, because for me, that's, that's, that's my calling, you know? I feel like after that moment, um, which I will be doing this week, um, I think a lot of things will change for me. Uh, I don't know, I just feel like it's something that has been on my mind every year for the last, you know, 20 years, so, yeah, man, it's something that I definitely need to do. It's going to be super emotional, tears inevitably. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I'm going with my mum. You know, my mum wasn't supposed to um, accompany me on this trip, but I was like, it's never gonna make sense if she's not here. So I had to make that, I had to make that happen. Be able to come back every year and keep seeing him again. And, you know, just keep recharging the, the, the batteries to be able to keep persevering. Because it does come to a time, you know, where nothing else can really refill your soul. You know, all, all you got is yourself and God. But, you know, to know that my dad's here, my mum is obviously still with me, you know, it's like, that's more um, juice for the batteries. Mum, you appreciate how beautiful you look. That's film and TV actor Michael Ward, who, by the way, is wearing Bianca Saunders. He made sure I mentioned that, since the British fashion designer, herself a rising star, also has Jamaican heritage.